Hey YouTube uh, DIYers, uh, here in uh, Washington State, it's a nice and sunny day and I wanted to show you my uh, solar generator box that I use for emergency outages or camping or any other thing like that. Uh, it's a unique kind of build and uh, uh, i like to go through it with you guys. So the top box has the inverter, it's a thousand watt uh, Xantrex, has a power meter on the right. I even uh, built a wireless charger over here for a phone. And you got the 12 volt outlet, which is uh, regulated. Uh, plugs are over here. There's a nice little light when it comes on. And uh, it's got about 70 uh, amp hours of battery, the lithium iron phosphate battery cells uh, that I built up. And uh, the bottom box has a bunch of PowerSonic uh, 45 amp hour batteries, about four of them in series. And I, I designed the bottom to be a charger box. So it can it has a uh, solar MPTT uh, input, um, can accept I think about 400 watts of solar. I got about 200 uh, watts of solar going now and uh, got a lot of nice sun today. So I'll be charging them up. They've been sitting idle for a while. And um, so what, what this, how this works is uh, you can use the power box inside or anywhere else and the bottom you can charge up and the bottom box is designed to charge the batteries on the top with a 20 amp hour rate. So it's a DC to DC converter. Uh, uh, I'll show you that when we open it up. So on the back here we got some uh, Anderson connectors you can accept two I could put both panels on on one or put some more also have uh, AC chargers built onto here and uh, so there's a fan there and uh, let me open this up to show you what's inside okay so that's what it looks like inside here's our sine wave inverter uh, we got the uh, wireless charger it's kind of glued and taped in there uh, regulator uh, charger 5.5 amp AC charger uh, the display down there, you got a Victron controller with Bluetooth, BMS, and a fan uh, turns on and off the fan there. And then it's fused and uh, circuit breaker, and the batteries are underneath. Won't be digging that far to show you that, but uh, and that's about what we got there. Uh, here I have them taken apart. The whole assembly weighs about 70 pounds uh, together, but it's wheeled and uh, it makes a really nice little... Um, portable unit and of course you can take that with the inverter and this is what I call the charge box and so it has a display on front shows uh, the capacity the voltage and uh, this switches on the AC charger and this one char uh, turns on the charger so let's take a look in here and uh, keep some of the gear in here for charging and things but this is the charge cable that connects from this connector over here to the top box. And uh, that's uh, it's a 20 amp DC to DC charger. So it takes the uh, uh, lithium power that's in here, which is um, well, about uh, 160 uh, amp hours. So yeah, it's, it's a, a pretty big, a lot of batteries down there behind us here. And then we got this, uh, which is the... Uh, charge controller for the solar and the AC pretty simple and then a, a breaker there which is a temperature uh, breaker 70 amps um, and that's about it so this can stay outside and you can hook up uh, about 400 watts of solar to it uh, and charge up a, a ton for the panels hey Kirby and there's the top box so that was my design and uh, I thought it fit really well because in any type of situation, if you didn't have any sun nearby where you were camping or yeah, you could set this outside, charge it up and then bring it inside and charge up the other battery and, and keep it going for a while. Well, hope you got some ideas from that. I know I've always uh, gotten some good ideas from the uh, YouTube videos that I've watched and uh, we'll see you again. Also, uh wanted to show you the um, app I have for those. So one is called the Solar Inverter. That's the top box. And the uh, bottom one is the Charger Box. And uh, we click on these. 
connect um, their Bluetooth. And it'll pop up with the wattage there. Right now it's doing 78 watts, about 5.7 amps. And uh, we've got a history tab. Works really nicely too. And uh, you can quickly switch over to the box. See what it's doing. It's doing 82 watts. Current of 5.9. Looks pretty good. We'll look at its history. And uh, it's done um, 50 watt hours so far. 83 watts max. Looking good.